slow enough hype, okay. so you better step it up. Okay, so we're seeing Raynad Hunter into Shaman. I think that's what he wanted. He definitely didn't want his handlock to go into Shaman. Probably not. Um, but I don't think Raynad had an opportunity to see Ping Ping's hose decks or even Ooh. vice versa. I was about to say uh, Raynad was looking great until we saw this uh, zombie chow. Mm -hmm. Now um, Ping Ping Ho has the, the Feral Spirits, the Defender, the Rockbiter, Doomhammer, all great cards against Hunter. Yeah, you might make a case where um, he has to Hunter's Mark the zombie chow so oh. that way he has any semblance of the board. Still sneaking in the extra damage though. I like it. Yeah. It's just so mm. easy for a hunter to get like just one step ahead against the shaman, and the shaman can't do anything. But the zombie chow is gonna let Ping Ping both stay in the game. Yeah, just being able to take out one creature, or yep. even just take yeah. two cards. And now the shaman is just gonna be one step ahead all game. Although the bow into the feral spirits is nice. Um, yeah, especially since he might get a trap off of uh, yeah uh, the extra charge. I don't think we saw any of Raynad's traps the other game, did we? I want to say yes, but. Because I think his mad science has never died. Yeah. Hmm. He's thinking um, if he can risk it getting earth shocked, maybe he throws it in. He doesn't need the trap right now because he's going to kill the feral spirit with the bow, and he has another bow anyways. Mm -hmm. Well, at least he saves himself a little bit of health, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Forcing the attack. Okay. Well, uh, Bimbi Ho unfortunately coined out, so he doesn't have any more mana to spend this turn other than Rock Fighter, so he's going to hold on to okay. it. That's Web Spinner's one of the best cards against Shaman. Um, you really want something high value, um, and you, you just want creatures against Shaman, so Web Spinner is great. And um, you saw that there's no Earth Shock, I think? Mm -hmm. Is it maybe. Uh oh. Okay. No, I don't think he's uh, that upset with the start so far. Uh, you know, having. Cards like Doomhammer and Lothep can be really important too if it ever turns into a flat out race. If you know this yeah. is Snake Trap, for example, and you're like, okay, well, I just have to basically get into damage as soon as I can, uh, those cards would be really valuable. Yeah, he's probably thinking it's freezing and he's going to throw the the Argus make to proc the freezing. Okay, nice. Well, I mean, we don't know what it is yeah. ourselves. Let's see, does Raynard care about the charge? Does he? He has another Eagle Horn bow. Yeah, but if he he couldn't equip it, so he's gonna lose a charge. Or well, he wants the charge, okay? Which is great. I mean, the shaman they can't heal. You just keep hero powering bone down. He can't do anything. Although he does have the cards to race, like you mentioned. Well, uh, let's see what Ping Ping does in this scenario. He has quite a few options at his disposal here. Uh, it really does depend on what trap it is. We don't even know what it is, right? Can't yeah. Get any confirmation? But uh, Ping Ping's probably assuming. Freeze. If he knew it was freezing, he'd throw the Argus in right away. But now he's considering Snake. He's like, okay, Snake, can I deal with Snake? But if he throws the um, Argus in, then he the, the Misha's at 4-2, but it doesn't matter. He still has to throw the other thing in, so he might consider, like, Rock Bartering first. Probably not, though. Mm. If it is Snake Trap, though, he has Lightning Storm. If it's Freezing Trap... Okay, yeah, he can handle the Snake Trap, you're right. Yeah, if it's Freezing Trap, then he'll probably Rock Bite at the... Mm. Oh, interesting. I was not expecting that one, especially coming up on a potential high main turn. Okay, so hmm. he just wants to get his uh, his board is going to be like his wall with the taunts, and then he's just going to smack away with the doom hammer. Maybe that's his plan. Mm -hmm. But this now gives opportunity for to set up uh, bow number two. Yeah. Again, though, you want creatures. He he needs something high value off that web spinner. No, Rainer, he's probably going to get the uh, captain ferret. No, he's going to get um, Corehound. Nice. He's made fun of it so many times that it's going to come back to haunt him. You know what great card against Shaman for Web Spinner is like the, the Rhino. I love getting the Rhino against Tundra Shaman. Rhino. Yeah. Just throw down the Rhino, smack him with like a charged Misha or something too. Same turn. Yeah, and then you can get um, Web Spinner Trolltastic Moments where you have Tundra Rhino, Web Spinner into a Web Spinner into Web Spinner. <laughs> There's the freezing, but now Ping Ping's kind of behind. He had like a potential mm -hmm. to snowboard, snowball with like the Lotheb into the Doomhammer. Mm -hmm. He's still gonna do it, but it, it feels like it's he could have done this last turn. I like to shut down the web spinner too. 
So Reyna oh, has three really? charges, but mm. that Argus is going to come down. So only one is going to go to the face, it looks like. I don't really like using Urshak to shut down any kind of card gain that the, the hunter can get. Yeah, I would definitely do it. Although, because it... Maybe he wants... So you want to use the get It's pretty strong ones. in combination with the Lightning Storm to do like a Urshak Lightning Storm. You just clear everything. He could be thinking that he doesn't have any way to deal with the high main effectively. Yeah. So Urshak might be his only bet to get rid of a high main. Yeah, but Urshak like fully kills a crew. Oh. Ooh. Which one? No. We're going to put, yeah. But actually he probably, he, there's, he saw that he, has, he floated one mana. He's like, he definitely doesn't have Urshak because he would have Urshak that. That's mm -hmm. what he's thinking. Um. Well, I mean, he's got seven damage lined up guarantee with Kill Command, Iron Beak Owl, and his, free, and his hero power. So Raynat is effectively four points from killing his opponent. Okay. I'm sure the Owl will help too. Yeah. Well, here's where the Urshak is doing big things, but he's already took a few extra points of damage. Yeah. Raynat saw the, um, the he saw that when I see a, a Shaman float four, five, or one man, I'm like, he definitely doesn't have Urshak. But here's the thing. Uh, there's also a lot of damage coming the other way, and he also has lethal next turn if sh uh, if Hunter can't kill yeah. him. So it's 10 from Doomhammer plus the Flame Tongue on whatever lives. And, hmm. So unless Raynad Raynad might just Owl and leave something on the board. I think it, I think he would, hmm. think he's going to kill command the creature? Well, he's, oh, does he have he lethal? To. Oh, he, oh, yeah, he does, because yeah, the, we, the, we the kill that. command. Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Well played. And uh, that's going to do it for game number one. Don't worry, Hype. I missed Lethal. You were too busy explaining too many smart things. He's looking into Ping Ping's eyes. He's staring right at me. Okay. <coughs> well, uh... Good for Reyna. Um, he, He's still... I, we both agree that the Warrior is still a little bit weak to Handlock. So that's going to be hard. But it's definitely better against Handlock than it, is, than it is against Druid. So he's really happy with this. But Druid is... As much as it might stink against uh, what Handlock can do sometimes, it can also sneak out wins. Yeah. I, I like Druid vs. Handlock, especially if he has a um, uh, big game hunter. And the Echoing Ooze, this could be the old style deck with the Echoing Ooze and the Creeper. Because um, Wild Growth isn't that great against Handlock, so you might as well just get the Echoing and the Creeper. Although, Echoing plus Creeper, that is the best uh, Druid deck versus Hunter. That beats Hunter 80% if you have both those cards. Unless the Warriors run unstable, but no one runs that anymore, so the Ad Queen just gets in for so much. I was looking at the curve for Druid. It looks pretty nice. Turn two through five, you got everything stored out. Yeah. Raynad's got Twilight, Mountain, Shadowflame now, so he can come back from there. All right. So, wow, that is really early. That's really aggressive. Uh, you know, you had the opportunity of playing Ad Queen Ooze, and then next turn just innervate and then coin out five drop and then five drop itself but he's opting to be s way more aggressive than that at the same time it gets a little scary when you start spectral knighting into a handlock who does have the molten giant because mm -hmm. you need the combo to finish them he has he has a uh, molten giant and he has shadow flame okay. so if, yeah if ping ping had like a big game or a keeper to maybe get past the first giant um he'd be comfortable uh, okay there's the roar now, Raynad might not have time to clean up everything up before I get the roar gets off. Well, he does next turn if he Shadow Flames. Yeah. And Is he going to, like though? I think so, yeah. You have Savage Roar, you go for it. Um, so then Ping Ping's going to Lotheb, and then Raynad's response to Lotheb is probably Molten Giant. Maybe Twilight as well. We'll see. I wonder if that Alex will end up saving him. It might, but um, gosh, it's still Ooh. hard to tell. Raynad could go for the Hellfire <coughs> Mortal Coil. That's uh, also great. It saves his giant. Yeah, then he draws a Soulfire off the Mortal Coil. Soulfire's face drops the Molten Giant. <laughs> That's what's happening. I like it. You have a, you have a similar humor to Savit, so you guys have like unexpected. Oh, oh no! Molten Giant means certain death with Savage Roar. 8-8s are really hard for a Jew to deal with. Um, hmm. Shadow Flame is super valuable, so I see the, maybe the logic in saving it. Oh, but oh man. I think Reyna okay. just dead. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? No, he's, he's oh, not okay. dead yet. Uh, Ping Ping's ah, 2 close. damage off. It was close. But Lotheb might shut him out. 
Oh, you know, I was calculating Hellfire damage if you went Hellfire. Hell okay. Yeah. So Reyna needs a taunt if Lothep comes down. Mm -hmm. That's close, man. But uh, this matchup ends up going to the edge almost every single time as well. Yeah. Is and I do like I do like the aggressive drops from uh, Handlock. I hate when Handlock's um, play su super defensive, although it, it did feel right when we see the hand. We're afraid of that Savage Orb, but maybe it'll pay off for Reynad. Okay, there's the Creepers. Yeah, so oh, that Creeper's really good. It's like, usually the Creeper's not that exciting uh, late game, but when you have the Roar in hand and it gets a Handlock, it's really exciting. They can't AoE down your board. It feels tempting to try and seal a win, right, with Lothab? Yeah. Um, I guess he can, he can like mountain jump. Okay. Yeah, I would go for the Loth. Okay, he's going for it. Okay. Wow. That is really aggressive. Yeah, so now Raynad cannot use the Hellfire. That's good. He's dead if a swipe gets top decked. Well, Drew the Claw as well. Yeah. Oh, so the logic is um, he needs specifically a way to clear the board and to taunt up, or else he kills him yeah. next turn as well. So, but he doesn't have the Sun Fury. He needs like the AoE and the Sun Fury. He doesn't have it. What else can he do? He can heal up and clear, perhaps? Yeah, he could still tap into a taunt, maybe. Tap into a taunt at 1 HP. That is ridiculous. That's rough, but yeah, Ping Ping's Druid sh should be favoring a Townlock. Um, well, I'm still thinking of any ways for Raynad to pull himself out of this. Can he Mortal Coil anything that could save him? Sludge Belcher? Hmm. I don't want to. I, I would. I would think so, but probably not. He just doesn't have coil, any way to taunt. Mortal Coil into. Yeah, mortal Coil into Mortal Coil would be nice. Nice start. Into Defender of Argus. Okay, is that... Well, you just put up wow. a big wall of taunts now. You have free yeah. Molten Giant. And then you just hit the face. Yeah, 18 damage worth of taunts. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so he has recovery potential with the Shadow Flame. So... He still needs more taunts, though, I think. Druid needs to swipe out of this, then. Or another Savage Roar. Um, so uh, inner one damage or three damage, I think. <sighs> Draw into the swipe. One time? Yeah. Because you, you don't need the swipe this turn even. You can you can get it two turns. Oh! From there it is. Let's look at Raynan's face. Oh, that is pretty devastating. He's not surprised at all. He saw it came off right off the top, but he knew that would happen. I mean... <laughs> I mean, if he didn't get that, he was actually looking at some pretty big trouble, right? Because I think um, he had two turns, though. I think you he sure? had one more turn to draw the swipe. Because I looked like Handlock had a lot of damage on the back. Swing. Oh, he had the Earthens, though. So he could have Earthened out of yeah. swipe range. Okay. And then he also had uh, Siphon Soul. So if you play like a okay. Taunt. Which means Ping Ping is forced to pick, um, what's his other deck? He has not Druid. Oh, so Ping Ping will pick Warrior. I mean, uh, he has, he has okay. Druid, Handlock, and Shum. So I think, yeah, the, when it gets the free picks, uh, Raynad will pick, um, what did I say? Hunter. Hunter every time, and Ping Ping will pick Shaman every time, and we'll see that matchup. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, there are ways for uh, the Warrior to defeat the Handlock. You just have to line up removal. The Gore Howl is really nice. Um, you can kind of play it the old school. There's two ways to play it. Um, Raynet has the Owl, so you can kind of like equip the Gore Howl and then like sneak through with the Grom pretty easily for doing like you know uh, 10 to 12 from the Grom plus the Gore Howl swing for however much is left. But it's still really hard with the, the Belcher. There's so many taunts, you, you can't just owl one taunt because then you have to get through the Belcher and the ooze. It's really hard, but doable, especially with the Brawl. Um, so Raynad needs to safely get the Gore Howl on. He has one Execute, one Shield Slam, which is great. Ping Ping only has one Mountain. So the Mountain will die to Execute. And then, yeah, it's looking great for Raynad, actually. The Owl, it isn't quite as good as the Warriors used to run Whirlwind. So they do like Grom, Whirlwind, Execute a Taunt. Gore Howl one taunt, and then uh, Grom to the face. It's not quite as good. He doesn't have that, but the Owl is almost good enough. Yeah, wow, I'm, I do not like... Okay. 
uh, Acolyte versus Warlock is dangerous, but if you're going to do it, this is the turn to do it on their turn four. Right. You, you drain out their entire turn as yeah. opposed to playing a big threat. They can't really owl at this uh, turn. Four. They can, um, but it tells you, you know, they lose their four drop. Um, wow. Um, that is interesting. I mean, Hellfire doesn't really get a lot of value anyways, but to use it on an Acolyte. Yeah, Raynad had no way of getting a multiple draws anyway, so he's perfectly fine with that. Now, okay, coin is really valuable when we go for those Grom sneak throughs, like we said, when he, because you don't have the whirlwind to save the mana, so he, he can really use that extra mana on uh, one of his one mana removals to sneak through. Gotcha. So we were we we're on a mission here, Gorhal and, oh. and Grom. But oh, like I said, the Gorhal is also a very high value card, and with the two brawls, he could potentially deck the warlock. That's true. He just kill everything. If uh, if he doesn't have Jaraxxus, right? If he's running. Yeah. Well, Jaraxxus, you know, if it. You know, if you set up the Gore House, sometimes they just can't play Draxus, or else you just grom them in the face. All right, well, uh, Ping Ping, he, what does he get here? He still has the opportunity to play his giant. I think he's playing around the possibility of Big Game Hunter. But it seems yeah. like for now, you just have to make your opponent have it, right? Yeah, it seems fine. Maybe he wants... Hmm. I mean, it's, it seems fine. Well, fortunately for Renan, he has a, uh, a great response to it. He can gain up to six armor, so that way he can he maybe handle another giant via yeah. shield slam. Probably just gonna. This is as good as armor Smith gets. He's just throwing it in for two, getting two armor, execute activation. Mm. I would like to see him save the coin, but let's see. Um, Ping Ping Yo is going into his turn six. Um, Hamlocks don't really play six drops anymore. I've seen Strife Crow playing Hogger, which I like. And then we saw some people play. I think he did have Sylvanas, but Sylvanas isn't that good right here. Okay, so he really wants the extra armor. Um, he values the Armorsmith more than the first half of the Belcher. Mm -hmm. I think it makes sense, given that he already has Shield Slam in hand. Yeah, and maybe he uh, wants to use the Shield Slam now and save the Execute for later. Right. Because Shield Slam gets harder to use later in the game, especially when you're not holding a Shield Block. So many possibilities. Uh, ping Ping... This play was a little Just weak to faceless, though. Oh, you're right. If he had the face manipulator on another giant, I was gonna say Ping Ping has. Um, Although maybe. Oh, go ahead. I was thinking maybe Renat's setting up for brawl. He doesn't have it yet, but oh, he could actually, if he wanted, maybe that was a setup for coin Gorhal, which he can still do. He can still coin Gorhal, throw one of those in. I think this is what Renat wanted, though. Because now he has an opportunity to really shut down. And he has one of those brawls. But I don't, I don't know if it's time yet, do you mm. think? Because it still feels I think like... you wait till those uh, Ancient Watchers get activated. Right. And get two guys. He, right now he's only getting one guy. He has the removal. But maybe he brawls first and then uses the spot removal. Let's see. Um, his one mana spells, it, they don't let him um, develop anything here. He would just play like the Armor Smith and the Acolyte. So I think... It's either Coin, Gore Howl, or Brawl. Um, Raynad's... He's like, I'm Raynad. The Brawl's gonna make the mountain jump. Yeah. Nah, he won in the previous turn. In, uh, okay, in the look at series. this. This is this is a setup for a super greedy Brawl. Um, slight risk if Ping Ping Ho has low feb. Well, he's got... Um, oh, okay, he's he's got removal, right? With uh, yeah. Shield Slam. Or you can do execute, okay, yeah. and then use the fiery war axe. I thought so. I thought he was setting up for the Gorhal last turn. This is interesting. All right. So now, since he has the brawl, he's setting up for the brawl. I think. Oh, no, no, he's just gonna clear. He's just gonna take it slow. Hmm. How does he? He wants to drop that acolyte too. He needs something for that. Well, I guess he was just considering if there was any use of Shield Slam before it, but, uh... uh he, did he get it? <gasps> oh, no! He might He missed... He, oh, he yeah, took too he long. Two mana left. He got roped. Uh-oh. <laughs> Raynad waited a little bit too long, and as he coined out, uh, he didn't get his armor up. Yeah, he must have been doing some math on the armor. To He's like, okay, this will be the perfect amount of armor, and then to it. Yeah... 
All right, so. Oh man, that's that's pretty that awkward. Sucks. Uh oh. Well, uh, you know, Ping Ping probably is a little confused by that, but when you see the person rope out of time, you pretty much assume that they want to do something else. Yeah. I really want to see this Gore Howl get value. I want to see the Gore Howl go on before the brawl. That's like the dream. He is super low on cards though, still. Because this fireworks is kind of worthless. It doesn't really kill off much. The Farseers and the Owls, but uh, other than that. And those two, those two Armorsmiths, very low quality cards. You know what it is though? It is damage. Yeah. So oh, is he going to sneak in for lethal here? Set up for it? No, he's got too many. Ping Ping has too many taunts. <laughs> so on Raynad's screen, it looks like his armor up was used, but because yeah. he hit oh, no, rope, I've the, seen this before. It, it like it takes a while, bugs. but he will be able to use it in a second. Yeah. This happened in the BlizzCon final zone. Uh, I was playing against uh, I forgot his name, but he tapped at the end of turn, and it, it didn't, he didn't get the card. And then he was like trying to tap the beginning turn. It took a while, but it eventually worked. Oh, okay, man. so Raynad's uh, baiting the brawl here. He wants the Molten Giants to come down. Yeah, don't worry. All right, so he wants to see some Moltens. We'll see if Ping Ping. Ping Ping's probably not going to drop both. Because anytime you you see you can see you can draw both, you're like, oh, I'm going to get brawled. So he's probably going to drop one. Um, he'd love to Lothab if he had it. He doesn't. So if he drops Molten Giant here, then you just... Um you taunt up the other two, right? Because you don't want to taunt up Molten Giant, and then you just try to see where you can go from there. Yeah, so he might... Do you life tap, then? I'm trying to decide if he wants to kill an Armorsmith. I think so. He, Rain has it so a high HP, and um, he has low card quality that I think mm -hmm. Ping Ping is going to try to outcard him. So I think he just kills... He doesn't care about his health. He just kills the um, Armorsmith. Or, I mean, the Acolyte. Wow. Hmm. So you, I mean, he does have Shield Slam, but... Alright, so he's playing very respectful for what his opponent has. Alright, uh, so, yeah. So I think Raynad first draws off the Acolyte before he brawls. Yeah. See what you get. And also pick up a little armor. Yeah, yeah. Decreases his chance to win the brawl, but... Who knows, maybe he ends up working out all okay in the end. Still a little scary, though. Okay, so if he, if if the Twilight Trick wins the brawl, he can owl, fiery it. If the Molten Giant wins the brawl, he can he can't quite shield slam it. So he's maybe thinking about if he wants to get some more armor to be able to do that. Right. The he's just armor gonna. Up he's like, doesn't even work that much. Yeah, he's just like the Molten Giant better not win. Two times to see if Kit Kat's lied. Okay, Kit Kat's truth. Um. All right. Well, can he set up for Grom? Okay, so he can yes, shield slam his own Grom. Um, he can owl past the taunt. Yeah, I, th I think okay. you attack here because he already is at molten giant range, anyways. Well, Ping Ping needs to swing this around here. Okay, so. So he's got ways to be defensive and heal, right? Yes. Does that save him? You can... Yeah. Probably wants to get the Molten down no matter what. And then um, he has the choice of Argusing something or Beltring. If you play Belcher, you get the opportunity to heal yourself with yeah. Farseer as well. Belcher plus Argus feels really awkward, but it might be the right play here. It's like the Belcher already has two taunts. I give another, but I think it might be the right play. But it's better than the other play. Okay, but he chose to heal, like he said. But does that mean he can still sneak in here with Owl and Core? Oh, it is not enough. Not enough of mana to do everything. Here. Yeah, I was gonna say if he had the coin, but he still doesn't quite have enough mana. So mm -hmm. I think Shield. Um, oh, he wants to develop the Gorehal at some point. Wait, can he develop the Gorehal this turn? And no, he couldn't. Well, that fills out the curve. If he shield slams the giant and plays the sludge belcher, he could just owl the sludge belcher this turn. 
You're gonna owl it anyways. It's like the best owl target outside of Sylvanas. Or he could just yeah, Sludge Belch is fine, I guess. Maybe he wants to find that second brawl and just win the game. 14 cards. He's like, nah, I'm not gonna find it. Right, you'd be digging for a I while. I think he's got. I think he wants to just start the Gorehow, get the Gorehow cranking. Well, he can't now. He doesn't have enough mana. Every turn he waits to develop the Gorehow, it's gonna be more punishing. Ping 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 support is gonna be even bigger. So the sooner the better. Um, but Belcher's really good too. He's deciding if he wanted to swing. He's like, no. Okay, well, uh, in the meantime, there's another way to p pose a problem so that Gromash can't sneak through. He might not even need Gromash. Ran if you look at Raynad's hand for what's on the board, Owl, Gorehowl, is it lethal? Um, we're going to see taunts come up, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, he's got more Sludge Villagers. So it looks like he's going to have to chew through at least one Belcher naturally, and then just Owl the other one. Or he can draw the Brawl. Uh, Raynad might have... Uh, Two owls. I've seen two owls a lot on ladder. So then, what does Ping Ping do here? Uh, he can once again play defensive. I don't think there's a way for him to start putting threats out though without worry about dying, right? Yeah, he already tapped, so he's looking for better answers. He didn't get. I mean, Belcher's great, but he could have also just faced list. I wonder if it was. I wonder if he considered facelessing the Belcher and just saving the Belcher, because that might be the best faces target right now for him. Although, hmm. well, he also has the opportunity for Defender plus Faceless to all set up more taunts. Okay. But it is an interesting point that you bring up because that Faceless will eventually just need to be a taunter anyways. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's always the potential for the the Molten Argus Faceless though. Yeah. Okay. Right now it's got lots of removal, but like I said, he has to chew through one Belcher naturally. Um, I, th I would take, you know, it's hard to get the B Gore Howl on, um, so I think he's going to shield block, maybe just use the Fiery on that one, and then just put the Gore Howl on. Yeah, it makes sense, given the state of things, um. Oh, and then, yeah, he can, fl he can clear the ooze, too, that's really good. Yeah, use a one attack creature yeah. to push through, and he's al also gaining some armor, which is good to set up a shield slam in the future. Uh, it does make him a little more vulnerable to like Hellfire because all of a sudden it can reach everything. But uh, I think it's okay. Your opponent's doing damage to himself. You're still in threatening range of killing your opponent. That's also that's always reasonable. A great card to start threatening the board. Have we seen any owls from Ping Ping? I don't think so. Even so, isn't it the five five body yeah, that's yeah. great? It's important against this board too. Yeah. Well, I, I don't really see a much better play. I mean, yeah. Gore Howl was great to. It was just mana efficient, but he wasn't going to swing any. The fire is just as good this turn, so he can wait. And I think he's fine playing the long game. I don't think there's any rush on Rain outside. Um, he wants to drag it out to that second brawl that will win the game for him. And he can still, like I said, he can still Owl Gore Howl in one turn, which might be enough. Um, he can Shield Slam his Sylvanas. Owl Gore, and then whatever taunt doesn't get stolen, he owls it, and then he Gore Howl's face. Might work. Although he's kind of one damage short, depends if he taunts or not, or taps or not. Is there room for cool shenanigans with Faceless Manipulator here? Oh. Okay, so he's. He faces the Sylvanas, and then he Shadow Flames it. Or no, he doesn't, he doesn't have to Shadow Flame, he just Shadow Flames or Right, and he steals whatever the Sylvanas yeah, yeah. steals. Essentially. Oh, no, no, no. There's a chance that he can take uh, a mid... Like, say the Sylvanas takes... Oh, no, he should be able yeah, to yeah. take it back, right? So whatever stolen gets to take it back. Wait, so is that a good play? Um, hmm. It's as good as Faceless gets. Okay, it's reasonable. But like I said, Raynad's totally fine playing the long game. So he's going to take this Watcher and just gives it back. Yeah. Oh. Raina has lethal with the... Oh no, no if yeah. he had the coin. Yeah, if he had the coin. Uh, well, actually, he, he would shield slam his Gromash yeah. back to Timbuk too. Too much HP. Oh, well, he's got he's got a Death Bite now. Okay, so he can set it up with Death Bite. But then there's Defender of Argus. And he needs ways to get past these uh, these creatures. I'm fine so with just Gore Howling that Gore this turn. But it's still going to take two swings, which is really annoying. 
he is so close to killing his opponent. Okay, yeah, I think you gore howl and just kill a creature. Yeah, it makes sense to me. So he only has one Argus target right now. He needs a second creature. Is he going to uh, siphon that owl? Siphon the owl brings up to 12, but it doesn't... Does that save him? Moral Coil is nice. Oh! Okay, so two... Well, oh, wait. That makes things interesting. Um. Well, the two targets, I think, uh, prevent him from... Right? Because uh, he still has to use a Gore Howl to attack a creature. I think, I think Raynad's actually going to deck. Oh. I don't think Ping Ping can kill Raynad. In. How many cards does he have left? He uh, it's always deceiving. I've been in this position oh, multiple Mouse times. Oh. There's Rain still, like, Alex Straza and, um, you know, whatever six drop he has. So, like, for Raynad, right? So, usually oh. he has a, maybe yeah. a Cairn or something. Raynad's almost there. And... Oh, is, does he have it? No, he's one mana short again. One damage short, one mana short. Yeah. That, this is titillating, honestly. Yeah. To be in, like, Raynad's position. But uh, now, uh, there's no more real threats here presented, just reactions from the handlock. Oh, and he gets Jaraxxus, but if he does, enough. he's, he's going to die. Yeah, it's not enough. Oh, so he gets back up to 15 HP, but Raynad has the cool Taskmaster and the Gromash, and that's going to do it for game three. Raynad's going to win Warrior versus Handlock, a matchup that was a little bit tougher. Yeah, and he only had seven cards left, so Raynad, like we were thinking about sneaking through with the Grom and the Owl, but he was actually going to deck the Warlock as well. Um... Mostly because the Warlock didn't have... Maybe the Warlock really needs good post Draxus cards, like we said earlier, mm -hmm. to win this versus Warrior. Uh, outside of a good early game lead, of course. All right. Well, we go into game four with Raynad up. And uh, one game away from challenging Chalky in the grand finals. Meanwhile, Ping Ping will have to go back to the drawing board. Shade has to be good against... Well, actually, wow. Shade is good in Druid when you can accelerate it out, but maybe it's too slow in Shaman. Maybe it's just going to die to AoE for free. Well, uh, there's two chances for Draenei to deal with it if he gets Hellfire, which is another important card. Uh, in the meantime, he still has a turn four play, and until Shaman draws a Hex, he still has to, he still has to deal with it. Oh, okay, so man. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Because um, if you coin out Shade yeah. into Shade, it still can die to Hellfire. Okay, so is he going to soul fire it? It's going to really slow down his m m Mountain Giant. Well, you, you tap first, right? Because you want to... Yeah, but I mean, you lose the soul fire plus another card. So that's like really slowing down your Mountain Giant. Yeah. Um, decent card against Shaman. Yeah, BGH is not that practical speaking. So I think he would have been okay parting ways with that. Yeah, there's probably going to be BGH to the Shade at some point. I bet the Shade's going to come out with Lothab and it's going to get BGH'd. <laughs> or, no, okay, he'll just Shadow Flame his BGH at some point. Two Shades. Mm. And there's a Doomhammer and a Rockbiter waiting. I don't think Raynad's that scared, though. Okay. If it was a Druid, you'd be super scared, but... Right. So okay, so we got the Big Game Hunter Shadow Flame. No, 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 one more turn for that. So he doesn't have Lotheb to sh shut it down. He's got Doomhammer. Oh, is he just going to put it on? He's got the Lightning Bolt and the Rockbiter in hand. Lots of burst. Uh, Raynad has Lotheb and... A lot of taunts, though. I wonder. If you play Doomhammer, are you just going all in, or are you hitting with Doomhammer, holding on to, holding on to your shades? Well, I think if he plays Azure Drake, then Raynad will take the Shadow Flame. This is this plays around the Shadow Flame the best, I think. Um, I think you go ahead and swing twice and keep the shades stealth. Okay. Well, it's either that or put him down to eleven and go all in. And that's that's not a lot of insurance. If your opponent has a taunt, then uh, the Doomhammer Rockbiter combination won't go off. 
this this game's gonna be good. They both have great hand. Well, Dreadnought's hand is great, and Ping Ping Ho's is is very bursty. So I'm really interested to see how this goes. He, Ping Ping Ho would really like some Earth Shock, so he can push past the uh, taunts that are likely to come down. Oh, all the way in. Okay, wow. Halfway. Oh, no, halfway. In. Okay. Halfway in. Just a tip. <laughs> Oh, well, oh. he picks up uh, another al alternative target to Shadow Flame. And that's important, actually. So that okay. way he can deal with this second shade. Oh, don't tap. He has lethal if he taps. He can't tap. Okay, good. Uh, He's 13 if he gets one more card, actually. Another Lightning Bolt? Pretty easy. Another Rock Biter? No, okay. Oh. Hex is great. That's probably the next best thing. Okay. Because now he can still put pressure in. You don't play a Zombie Chow, though, right? But, yeah, now every single turn, Ping Ping is threatening lethal from now on. Uh, but, like I said, Raynan has great tools. He needs two taunts, though. He's, he has to be afraid of, like, or shocking Ooh, past one. That was another good draw, too, because now he can taunt two creatures up. Is he playing around black? Oh. It is turn six. Yeah, he is playing around Black Knight if he does this. He's so low, I think. But well, then Earthshock still is an yeah, opportunity. Yeah, I would be so afraid of Earthshock. But actually, maybe the last few turns he... No, no there's no way to know if he had the Earthshock or not at this point. Yeah, there's no way to draw into Earthshock in, in the game here. Interesting that Pink... Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so... Uh, Raynan needs as many taunts as possible. Because Pink Pink yeah. has a lot of damage. Is the dead zombie chows, which is interesting. But the rest... Oh my god. Three. Wow. Okay, he, Lotheb or Taunt, both great. Lotheb makes a lot of sense because... Um, you deny him from being able to play spells. Yeah, like, and you keep your Molten Giant pretty safe. Can he kill you if you play Lotheb, if he has Rock Biter? Uh, no, right? Because he just... He has Flame Tongue and Rock Biter. Yeah, so Flame Tongue, yeah. Oh, actually, he can kill you. Oh, my God. So he has to trade into the... He has to kill off, like, the Zero Two. Okay. You can't just go all face. doesn't really have a good way to play Argus. So he's probably not going to. It's a very specific set of instructions to like Lotheb kill off Totem attack and not tap. I think though in your head when you play Lotheb you're like, all right, six mana. Yeah. He has two left. So thinking, okay. I was gonna say he's gonna be tempted to tap for mana efficiency. Now will he? No, I think kill the Drake. I think this costs him, right? Okay, let's see. Does no? Y all you do is you play Rock Biter and Flame Tongue. No, that's not enough. That's only ten. Yes. Yeah, so Raynet's still safe. Um, let's see. What can Ping Ping do now? Nothing. Or he has to Rock Biter. No, he Rock Biter's the ro uh, his own self attacks the Ancient Watcher and yeah. then slides the Flame Tongue next to the, the Azure Drake. No, that's only ten because Rock Biter does ten. Well, it does five. Each you split, split it oh, up. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, the extra damage. Okay. Yeah. Go. Oh gosh! I like th the whole point was Ugh. to not tap after that entire sequence, and that ends up costing Rinna at the game. And now the series is tied up, and that small little decision has costed him from being able to close out the series. And we have ourselves going to game five wow. once again. <laughs> it's Peter. It's Ping Ping Ho, and he is going to. Have a pretty decent hand, right? Flame Tongue Totem with Haunted Creeper is I was going to say, Raynan's hand looks great. Oh, Rain I didn't look at Raynan's hand either, yeah. but he's got uh, Hellfire and two four drops. Yeah. Raynan's hand is amazing. Ping Ping's is... Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think it's alright. We'll see if... We'll see if Raynan plays the Drake first. Usually they play the Mountain Giant first cause, in case they don't have their shock. But it would be nice to get the Hex on the Twilight Drake. I I generally like playing the giant first because if they have hex, then it takes up all their turn versus Earthshock allows them to play something else. He played that Sun Fury though, which so he's not gonna play the mountain first. And sometimes um, sometimes they don't even play the Drake when they get the to save it for later. But he's got two, so it looks like he's just gonna back to back. Ah, well. But now the man tied right on time. The man tied gave him a lot of trouble last game. Yeah, that soul fire ended up being one turn too slow. 
Uh, now when you play this, you're like, it's so likely that the Shaman has a 3 man three damage, 1 mana removal, and he does. He has the Bolt. Right, but I mean, you ha you're you just going to be playing along that as well, because uh, you know you're going to be playing Drakes. He has the... Hmm. He has the Feral Spirits. It's kind of tempting to do the one mana and the Feral Spirits, but it's really weak to Hellfire. I did, yeah, I had uh, Totem as expected. Good restraint. Just protect the mana tide. And even got the Taunt Totem, which yeah. is annoying enough, so even if you played a creature, has not needed a little bit more. Oh, I think we're still going to see the Hellfire. Yeah, for sure. So a little pairing back and forth. Uh, and honestly, with two Hexes and an Earthshock, it seems like Beaming O is pretty well equipped to handle a lot of pressure here. Yeah, he's going to have a weak next turn, though. Uh, mm. Flame Tongue, not good. Yeah, yeah Zombie Chow is one of the weaker cards you can ever draw against him. He's getting some damage in. He needs to get him low at some point. He just he just like doesn't cast these zombie shells against Sandlock. No, I mean they they, <laughs> they yeah, work in the opposite yeah. direction. Absolutely not what you need. Well, the game is moving at lightning speed here, s assuming your opponent's just gonna fire elemental and try to snipe. Yeah. Um, and what Shaman wants to do from this point on is draw as fast as you can to some way to finish off your opponent. Yeah, he has the one Earth Shock, but at the but no Doomhammer, no Rockbiter. Um, but maybe he can build a board and protect it with that Lotheb one turn. Might be enough. Especially with the Flame Tongue. Okay. Yeah, the Hex allows him to okay, I like that. push. Yep. It's also more mana efficient. Well, you committed this far. I mean, yeah. might as well just go for it. Probably just Sludge Belcher tap. Yeah, I like playing Sludge Belcher um, against Shaman just because you can bait out the Earth Shocks or Hexes and then your Drakes has become much stronger. Yeah. There's such a problematic um, Although card. he can... That's pretty clean. Oh, wow, oh, that's what a really draw. Clean. That is great. So he can shoot down this uh, Sludge Belcher for five damage. Once again, Zombie Chow not going to really do much, so a couple of dead draws, but in between it, he's got two important cards, Lotheb and the Lightning Bolt. It could be the case where he's built up such a strong board that it might not matter. Yeah, right now he already used one uh, sh Hellfire. Hellfire. Yeah. So he needs the Shadow Flame. Well. He doesn't have Taunt Giver. There's a Taunt Giver. But um, we see one Hex and one Earthshock, so both taunts are going to be removed. He's attempted to play Black Knight here. There's not often many targets in Shaman other than one of the Feral Spirits that he got rid of and Alec here. Yeah, his other play is just get a Drake. Oh, maybe he wants to get the Ancient Watcher down. Drake and Ancient Watcher. No. Well, this actually doesn't remove any power on the board. There's eight here. Still a little bit away from being able to kill his opponent. Seems like a good uh, Lotheb turn. Yeah. If you Lotheb, how are you following it up, though? Like, do you just... Do you try to remove the Black Knight and all, or do you just leave him to his own devices? You just go face and take him to 11, and then Raynet can only make two taunts. Hmm. Okay, maybe, it's, maybe he doesn't have enough damage. Well, you still can play the efficient way of Fire Elemental. Yeah, Fire in. Elemental is hard. I mean, you can even hold back some damage, too. Yeah. Put him at 17. Yeah, that's probably the play. Yeah. Um, and he probably wants to Taunt Totem, so he can Totem first. Yeah? You think Haunted Creeper doesn't really matter here? Mm. No, actually it does. It'll uh, save him from AoE. Although it's only two damage. It's not like Shaman's have Sav Savage Roar or anything. Yeah, well, the more I look at the Fire Elemental play, the more I, I like it. It's all about whether or not he wants yeah. to play Haunted Creeper or Totem. I'm always thinking about it. I think it's worth thinking about, so. Back road to Rain Land, he needs a Shadow Flame or something to take apart this board. Oh. Right, there's the Shadow Flame. Mm. 
Well, it's actually still a little awkward because of the fire elemental health. Yeah. He could tap to find big game hunter. No, no, he can afford. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That wouldn't be enough damage. Though. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's a little creative. Okay, mortal coil. Is that enough? It is. Yeah, so now you can kill off the fire elemental. <laughs> Belcher's great. So yeah, he. So there's the hex on the shock, so he needs more than two taunts. So now he has potentially three taunts. Yeah, and he's now finally got uh, some ways to stack the board with cheaper minions because he's at 15 health. Does he feel like he needs to play the zombie chows? Because with Lothab, it's the best time to do it. Nice. That's yeah. fine. Well, normally oh, he's doing attack. It. Zombie chows. And he's got Earthshock, too, so he is all in. And Reyna needs to be as defensive as possible. Yeah. He needs to Deathwing back up to 23. Deathwing back up to 23. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it just gets hexed. Alright, so he's got. Okay, so. Can yeah. he life tap double giant and uh, sludge belcher as well? So Let's see. Um, so I'm at 8. That's going to cost 6. No, he's going to be one mana short. Well, if he double Arguses, then he's he absorbs one hit. 3, 4. He takes 13. Exactly 13. So this is it? Yeah, this is it. Oh, man. Ping Ping Ho has the exact damage. Two games in a row to shut down the handlock. So that that uh, spider over totem really paying off here. The yeah. extra damage. That was the difference maker here. Just has to count up one more time, but he should have it. And those zombie chows end up being the necessary way to push through. And uh, that's gonna do it. And Ping Ping Ho is gonna go to the finals of the first week of ESL Legendary Series. What do you okay. think about that? I love his de so it's got Yetis, it's got shades, shades, double zombie chow, which isn't too crazy, but kind of in combination with all those extra cards, it is. I think. Well, there you go, and Ping Ping Ho comes all the way from the qualifier to barely eke out 